Hi guys, welcome back and hey to everyone that's new as well. Thank you for bearing with me with me getting this out to you. Ali's been sick this week. Ali's been on antibiotics again. Um but I'm 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 on the road to recovery now, so so we're back in the we're back in the game. Um what happened while I've been away? Polar bear corn? It's a lucky mascot for the channel. Um I'm gonna probably do the next poll in another week or week or two and then we'll do we're gonna put snow leopard on and penguins and whatever else there is. Um, so we'll do that in the next couple of weeks, but I'll keep you updated with that. So we're in quite a female energy today. The energy on this Saturday is feeling quite female energy. So my guys have chosen, we've gone for female decks. Um, so sorry to the masculine energies watching, we're working with quite a strong female energy today. Um, and we're going to be doing quite an open-ended one, um, which is what are they, as in your person, struggling with that is causing them to act the way that they are acting. Um, so, it will, as always, it will work on the strongest mutual energy between you all. Uh, deck number one and deck number two. Deck two time will be in the description. Press the little down button. Uh, and that's it. So, think about you. Think about your person. Uh, see which more deck you're drawn to. Guide is saying heart chakra energy. So, where your heart energy is pulling you. Number one and number two. There it goes. It's like little suction vortexes going around to the card decks. <coughs> you have to bear with me, me coughing. <coughs> okay. Just be glad it's over video and you're not in my face. You're not in front of me. Okay, so let's go into deck number one. So as always, gonna work on the strongest mutual energy between you all, and what that means is I go into your energy. Uh, as a whole, we're going to everyone's energy, pull out the strongest mutual energy, um, and go into your people's energy, do exactly the same. Um, remember there's no such thing as time in higher dimensions, so videos are always timeless. Um, that's how psychics actually work, because the time don't exist. Okay, think about your person. Let's get into their energy. Can we get into their thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes, please? Two more, and we're going. Let's see what comes up. Can you tell me what uh, the people? I was this. What are their people struggling with that's causing them to act this way? What are they struggling with that's causing them to act this way? One, two, three, four, five. Just got um, towers by Little Mix. It's not you haven't got a tower card. I think it, it's well. I don't think it's just it. I know it's just the song. Um, <coughs> so towers by Little Mix. You know that's where a lot of you are at that. That's your kind of current energy. That's why Spirit are giving it to me. So what's ha and your person is also struggling with it. So that song will kind of be relevant to them as well. So it swings both ways at that pendulum. Spirit is saying. So um, what's currently happening with your person that's making them act this way? They are very. Um, unsure about what they're meant to be doing there's a bit of denial going on as a whole there's a bit of um imbalance in their energies and a bit of an imbalance in their thoughts and the feelings and the emotions kind of same stuff that, that kind of always comes up um but this imbalance of these energies um is kind of causing causing things to go the way they are going so you've got the two of swords over here they're not really making any choices, making any decisions. Now, the reason for that is because they are just trying to work out at this moment in time what is best for everyone that's involved in the situation. So what, regardless of your situations and what's individually going on, they're trying to work through it and work out what it is um, that is right for everyone involved. They feel that they are gonna come up with the answer. The likelihood is they are not going to come up with the answer. They're just gonna keep adding two and two and making 20. You are then mirroring that energy, so you are then adding two and two and making 20. And then you've kind of got this, um this battle of wills as such of what's going on between the two of you. So your energies are a little bit balancing of the scales. We've got a bit of a justice kind of scale going on at the moment, up and down, weighing it all up, choices, you know, all that kind of stuff is making them out this way. They aren't happy in the situations that they are involved in. Whatever's going on in individuals' lives, some of them that will be if you're third parties, uh, some of them that will be if they're, 
uh, if they're working lives, family lives, friend lives, all that kind of stuff. Very different components for all of you involved. Um, but they're not happy, they're fed up. And they're feeling like the start of the year, they, they, when January hit in, they were thinking, oh yeah, new beginnings, everything's gonna be great, ready for a fresh start. And it's just, it's just carried on. And they are, uh, as a whole, your people have kind of prolonged your individual situations. Because you guys watching are trying to, you want it to move on, you want it to speed up, and your people are kind of pressing pause on that, they're stopping it. I've just seen a car driving foot on the brake. So they're pausing that kind of energy. Whilst they're taking it, sorry, I'm going to swallow that dead loud. Whilst they're taking the time to work it out. Now, there is stuff going on behind the scenes as well. So not only have they got these individual components and feeling a little bit mixed up and imbalanced with the, the masculine and feminine energies, um, their intuition is kind of bringing them round to a full cycle. You're getting, you're going to go full cycle with your person. Um, there's that divine feminine energy very strongly in the background and you've got the two wolves on this and wolves are some kind of protection. So there is definitely protection being involved within the situation. Uh, you've got irises, which is a bridge to the other side. So you, um, as a whole, people watching, your divine connection is going really well at the moment. Um, a lot of you are disregarding your intuition with regard to your person. Please pay attention to that. Um, your people are also disregarding their intuition. That's what Spirit is saying. So they're getting gut instincts and feelings about things, um, but they're choosing to ignore it. Now, the reason why they're choosing to ignore it is because of these imbalance of these energies um, and for everything else that, that's kind of going on. Fed up, lonely, miserable, um, a little bit grumpy. Even if they're, even if they're with someone still the set strongest mutual energy between you all. Uh, you have got, some of you have got a third party car going on here. Um, if you are putting energy into that third party, if your person is with someone else or they've got alcohol problems or drug problems or whatever the third party might be, um, take, your, you, you take that energy back to neutral. Okay, because if you're feeding that relationship, if you're thinking, oh, are they holding hands on the sofa? Are they doing this? Are they doing that? What happens is you get this initial thought, and uh, so your initial thought is, oh, there is someone else. And then that initial thought starts spiraling and spiraling and spiraling, and you've got stuck in this momentum then, and you can't break out of it. So you need to break that momentum by taking the focus off this. So go and do something you enjoy, or go to sleep, break the cycle, break the momentum, the thought will stop and it will stop manifesting. Um, so just be aware of that, my little third party followers. And even if you're not third party, that will still be relevant to your individual circumstances. So if you are stressing about what's going on and what's happening, break that momentum, because you don't want that to manifest. Because you're on fire with your intuition at the moment, guys. And with that fire, you're gonna be manifesting really rapidly, so you need to be careful of your thoughts. Uh, especially with Mercury, Mercury retro get, retrograde coming up, that's gonna be a bit of a uh, dodgy, dodgy few, dodgy few weeks, for it to say, um, but just go with the flow of it. Now, what is gonna happen is during retrograde, we seem to be stepping up, your people seem to be stepping up the game. So depending on your individual circumstances and what is happening, spirit of bringing forward that, that your person is is upping, upping the stakes a bit. So you're gonna to have to match them. Uh, you've got the seven of pentacles, you've got the eight of pentacles, and you've got the eight of wands. So at the moment, they're just kind of working it out, thinking, oh, this could be a bit of hard work. Imbalance of chemicals, imbalance of whatever else is going on that I've said. Um, and they'll start to work it out. And once they start working it out, then you've got direct movement forward uh, with them, okay? So they're gonna break this cycle of being stuck. Um, there is still gonna be a bit of immaturity. The sexual chemistry between the two of you as a whole, uh, again, collective, um, is really, really strong as well. So if you are just getting smutty or sexual messages or whatever equivalent, um, you know, remember it's the chemistry that's between the two of you. A lot of it with divine relationships, you can't do anything about it. Just go with the flow of it, um, you know sometimes our, our uh, chakras we, we connect we do effort chords and um, so when you are connecting with a divine or anyone when you're connecting with anyone you get effort chords like you go heart centers and sacral centers and sometimes we misalign our chords so if you've got a twin flame or a soulmate sometimes your heart chakra could be attached to their sacral chakra so whilst you're feeling really emotional a bit sad and everything like that you'll be getting sexual text messages so there's that just be aware of it uh you know be in alignment with it just let it all kind of naturally happen um spirit is saying that you've got to pause pause um stressing about this there's a lot of undue stress on this and they're also saying be due I heard due diligence as well and um, so just be, be 
be aware of what's going on and, and be stable with it, be secure with it. Try not to go off into any neurotic tan pages, I've just heard, I don't, I don't know what that means, but uh, that's what they just said. I presume that's a temper, neurotic tan pages. Um, so just take your time with it, go with the flow of it. Um, so they're struggling, this is what's kind of struggling with the head, they're fed up, they're imbalanced, and there's individual circumstances going on. Um, not really paying attention to their intuition, so they're making a few errors on that front, acting childish and the chemical imbalance in their brains with the sexual energy. That's it, that's step number one. Um, but it's coming, it's coming. It's, and particularly, it, I mean, the spirit keep talking about Mercury retrograde, so there is an upturn in your person's energy during Mercury retrograde, so you just gotta go with the flow of it. And um, whether, whatever your individual circumstances are, whether that's contact, whether that's next steps, whatever that is, um, it's being brought up that even if you don't hear from them or etc., that the energy is up in the stakes in Mercury retrograde. As we're going through March the 5th, it starts, and we'll be going, I can't remember when it ends, but stakes are being upped. So hold tight, hold fire. Um, and that is when I gave you towers at the start, that's when the towers will start falling and the movement will happen once that's all cleared. Okay, let's do deck two, let me have a drink. God, it's my throat. Okay, I've got my arm, 1121. Can you get me into deck two's energy, please? So again, as always, we're working on the strongest mutual energy between you all. I'm going to jump into your energies, your people's energies. Pull out the strongest mutual energy between you all. Find out what they are struggling with. Struggling with. Okay, think about your person. We get into that collective thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes. Deck two people. I just got that, uh, it was that sha la 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 that was Brown Eyed Girl um, from the previous reading, I just got that again. So that's definitely to do with someone, one of you, I don't know who that's to do with in this deck, but there's an individual message in that. Uh, I don't even know what the lyrics are. Okay, can you tell me please, what are their people struggling with that is causing them to act this way? My guy's saying that song's to do with multiple people in this deck. What are they struggling with that's causing them to act this way? Two, three, four. Always, always, always. What falls to the floor comes to your door. It always happens. What we got, what we got, what we got. Another, how many did we have in the last one? Two. Another two. What are they struggling with? It's making them left this way. Interesting. It's always good to kind of um, see the deeper meanings. You know, when it's good to know how someone's thinking and how someone's feeling about you, but if you know what's actually going on within the deeper situation from their perspective, um, sometimes it helps us to rationalise. These are rational thoughts that we all get. Um, so it's a really good question to be asking. So what is currently happening with them that's making them struggle? Um, reality versus fantasy. So they have got, um, you are everything on paper that they want, I'm hearing. However, the reality of it is there's, there's a lot of stuff that is making your individual circumstances a lot more complicated. Now, your person knows they want, a lot of them want to settle down, they want the family, they want everything along those lines, um, but they are frightened because in one respect they want all of this, and then in the other respect they're, they're thinking, well, is it the right person? Do I want to settle down? Am I ready to do all this? Is this how is this going to play out? What if I change my mind? What if I add more pain to this person, um, or to you? All of that's kind of going through their thought process. And so they've got this reality and fantasy kind of glitch going on. Um, and they're trying to merge the two things together, but they're not doing very well at it. So you've got one reality, one fantasy, trying to merge that mutual energy from those parts towards you, but they're not doing a very good job of it. Which is why some of you will be quite stuttery, like starting, stopping, starting, stopping, or no contact, etc., etc. Um, so they can see what they want in the long term, 
but how they're going to get there, that's the bit that's complicating them and tapping their heads, um, which means confusing them. Okay, so they also feel that this has uh, got higher purpose, divine relationship. They have a sense of that, and they also have a moral, I've heard, moral obligation to the truth with regard to this divine relationship that you're all in. Um, so on a soul contract level, energy is being brought down the path kundalini being brought down your kundalini spines a lot of you will be getting your tingles quite a lot in this deck at the moment um as this truth this kind of truth energy is coming forward um, and as as you and your person mirroring your energies will be echoing the same okay so that is happening as well and if you don't understand anything that i've said your people definitely won't understand anything i've said and that is also why they are in fear okay um you've got heart-centered energy here uh, again knowing what they want how to go about it completely two different things they're just unsure thinking about you a lot um and think about you with, with loving thoughts as well and there is a, a few tempers that have been risen in this deck i'm hearing there's been a few arguments with a lot of few no not a lot of you a few arguments with some of you um but it's important to remember to stay grounded with that and focus on the unconditional love that the two of you have between the two two of you have between the two of you um being at each other's throats a little bit. There's an issue with self-confidence for a lot of these people as well. Uh, that stems from past experiences, more so from, uh, it feels around childhood to teenage years rather than, um, there are exes, but the majority there is, there is problems from, uh, or not even problems or issues, but they've got a bit of a block with regard to what's happened in their younger years, um, which is affecting their self-confidence. So they're not as confident as you, you may think they are. What, so, Again, that's confident in, shall we reach out? That's confident in, shall we take the next steps? That's confident in, would I be a good dad or mum or equivalent? Um, um, all that kind of energy, you know, that's going through their head as well. So they've got themselves into a little bit of a pickle um, and that's why they're acting that way. Now, they know that there's going to be a number of choices and decisions that are being made. They are just going to go with the flow of it. They're not going to focus too much on the end goal and I suggest you guys don't do that either because if you do that, you put expectation on and then you pause everything, okay? So try not to focus too much on the end goal and see where you are on the journey at this moment in time. Um, they've just had a clear... They've just had a... I've just had a clairvoyant image, sorry, um, of two river road, two rivers kind of streams running in together. So your energies are definitely, water's always emotion, so your emotions are definitely merging together. So you are feeling the same energy, return to sender three times, um, lots of letting go meditations, lots of releasing meditations, um, realigning chords, etc., etc. I've just spoke about that in deck one. Um, so movement is happening it's not going to be as quick as you want i'm afraid but that's because it's happening more on an energetic level first and then that will transmute down to our level to the 3d level and so they are all of that they've got choices and decisions to make they're on their pentacles energy knight pentacles slow steady stability they want to be 100 percent sure that when they offer you some kind of deal or some kind of uh, peace or olive branch or whatever that they are making that right choice and that is why it seems a bit stagnant a bit stagnated and a bit jolty a bit here there and everywhere um while they're working it all out passionate energies strong strong pass strong strong passionate energies uh, and again mirroring the stability and the security side of things there is an element of self-protection in this deck as well your people are trying to protect themselves because they've been hurt in the past now that feels more to be the, re the not so recent no that feels more to be the recent past rather than the longer term past focusing on that um but you've got the chariot and you've got the star so it's going to work out um as a whole as your collective it will work out but that's why they're struggling with it they will weigh up their choices and the decisions they will be they are in this uh, period of transformation you're going you as a whole as your deck you're going from a to c but at the moment you're all kind of you're merging around b some of you at the start of b some of you at the end of the b some of you in the middle of the b um regardless of your individual circumstances you're all majority of you come some of you just coming out at sea but a majority of you are, are stuck in this b energy and that's also because your person is stuck in this b energy if that makes sense um but transmutation things moving forward let it happen um any advice any advice just keep putting one foot in front of the other that's what my guy just said Put one foot in front of the other. Weigh up what's right for you. You know, choose what makes you happy. If something isn't making you happy anymore, then you really need to want to 
reassess what you want to do. Um, you know, sometimes when we release situations properly, properly, I'm not talking about releasing and letting go, but when you release that situation, that's when you just give it the time for, for things to, the universe to actually listen to what you're saying rather than pressurising them and saying, I need this, I need this by this certain date because that is what I want, you know, and if you're doing that, you're pressing pause on it as well because you're time limiting yourself and if it can't get done in that time limit, then you've broke, you, you broke your cycle. Um, so just be aware of your thought processes. I'm not saying you can change negative, well, you know, when you've got this spiralling momentum, I was just talking about that in deck one as well. Break the momentum. If you're going on a negative spiral, uh, go to sleep, that'll break it or go and do something you enjoy or put some music on, have a scream, have a song, sing a song and, uh, and let it all flow. That's what's happening with them. So, quite uh, quite interesting really what's happening on universal levels as well as the 3D levels in this one. Um, so if you want to book a private reading, email me, that's just mysticlovetarot at gmail.com. Uh, I'm on Instagram, that's mysticlovetarot. I'm useless at replying to messages on Instagram because I don't go on it very often because I'm sorry, I've got loads of private readings at the moment. Um, so. I don't go on it very often unless I'm putting a public on. So you're, you're best off reaching me through email. Um, we've got a polar bear. We've got a cuddly toy now. We've got a little mascot. Um, and we will... Uh, I'll speak to you all soon. Have a good week. Lots of love. Bye.